Okay, we're at our um, hay, hay land. And Daddy's out mowing it right now. This tractor we're using is a neighbor's. He let us borrow it to mow the hay. There goes the husband by on his little 3000 Ford baling some hay. And we got this big old field to pick up. He's got about a third of it baled. And I'm kind of out here all by myself. And I just don't think I can pick up 200 bales by myself. But I think I got some good help coming. Here they come now. get up a little closer he's my square body man and he's MacGyver Jr. got my daughter here Miracle also known as Faith Farmer she is regenerative farmer in training and uh, working toward an associate's degree in agriculture and we got Angelina and she adds beauty to our world and uh, uh, she's a city girl coming out here to work just as hard as any farmer I got her twin sister Angeline and she is a up and budding urban farmer and we got Cecilia here and you will find her on TikTok she is world famous and on the end is her brother Richard he is also on YouTube and in what's the name of your channel TVDE underscore lucky and we will have all that in the description below to catch these two but isn't that a great looking crew there so pepper. oh pepper and our other helper yeah. pepper <laughs> so we're going to catch them in some hard work out here because it's close to 90 degrees and they have volunteered to come out here to help for some lemonade and spaghetti so that's a pretty good uh, way to get some good help so follow along with us as uh, they pick up some hay. Y'all take off, guys. Boys down there filling their trailer up. Here comes Joey by again. And there ain't nothing more beautiful than hardworking farm girls. I'm going to tell you that right now. Guys, you can just eat your heart out because these girls are tough. We're going to get up a little closer and see who this driver is. Oh, we got us a driver here. It's Papa. He's out here making these girls work. Ain't that something? Now the thing with the stacker is they got to know how to stack it well so it doesn't fall off and they have to handle every bale. The hander uppers with the three of them, now they only have to handle one every three. So we'll get her some help up here in a few minutes. Ready 
get back at it. Princess wave. Princess wave. We're losing light, but we're all done. We got two of these trailers full and got this big one up here. But the sun is going down. We got lights in the barn. What is going on? What's going on, ladies? Got some going on in here. What you got in there? Where's that again? I hope she got back on her nest. Okay. But what do you have? What do you have? Oh, 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 get me. Get me, Mama. Get me. Now here's something. <laughs> See, look at me. Look at me. Just look. That's a birdie. <laughs> nosy. Y'all be a nosy. Y'all be a nosy. You better run. <laughs> we got mama number one. We got mama number two. We got mama number three. And that's not all. We'll go over and see the other ones. 
Now that was that little protected house. They think I got them something. And they've already had their snack, so they're not really hungry. See, they've still got corn on the... Their fermented corn's still on the ground. Girls. Oh, oh. over here okay here's the big one oh girl sorry and we got three more over here oh sorry girl What? What is it? What? Normally they'll pick you. So you should pick them. You okay? Well, everybody's eating up all the everything that's in here but because I have five or six girls setting I just moved the one that had the extra eggs in here because she only has another week to go and uh, she will be able to hatch some of them and the other ones we'll just throw out I, I want her to have a baby after working that hard so she'll be happy with just one if that's all she gets so even though you can see all around it's green and that's where they need to be, but that would just put stress on these mamas. And until all these eggs are hatched, uh, we're just going to keep them in here. I throwed them some hay in here this week and I'll continue to doing that. Um, hay and grass and weeds. They're so nosy. They know those hens in there has got something they don't have. So they're always trying to, oh, what are they doing in there? They must be doing something. Why are they getting special treatment? So they're always continuously trying to break in. Oh, there comes another one out from there. Oh, silly girls. Anyway, they're going to have to stay here for another good week. And we'll just bring them some old hay out of the barn. They've already thrown two eggs out of their nest. But they should be fine until I'm able to retrieve them. Old rooster, he's checking, keeping a check on them. He can't understand why his women are in there. Do you not have enough women out there? There's women everywhere, but I want the ones that are in there. They're different. So anyway, that's a little update on hatching, and that's the good things about the milk crates, that they are portable, and uh, you can move the chickens around. You can see this hen, she's the one with the chicks. Her opening happens to be on this side. I'll get you on camera if you come near me. I'll get you. And we're just blessed to have y'all with us today. Thank you for joining us here at Miracle Farm 1927 Homestead. And this is a place where we're always looking up.